What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna highlight some of the top new or recently updated add-ons available for Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I'll link to all of these add-ons in the notes down below. Um, note that through Sunday, August 27th, a lot of these are going to be on sale in the Blender market summer sale as well. If you wanna check that out, you can go to the CGessentials.com slash summer sale. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the cool new or updated add-ons that are available right now. All right, so first off, Cloudscapes we've talked about before. Um, this is basically an add-on designed to help you create um, VDB clouds and explosions. So basically clouds and explosions um, with different volumes. I didn't get a chance to make an update video on this yet, but they've added a whole bunch of not only clouds, but also other things in here as well. So things like explosions, other things like that. So if we were to scroll down, right, um, they've got like fireworks, they've got tornadoes, um, just a bunch of VDB VDB assets that you can bring in and adjust um, in order to create these different effects in Blender. So if you scroll down like this, um, notice how they do list basically most of the assets down below. So they've got clouds, um, they've got they've got explosions. We've got aerial explosions. They've got fireworks. So not just clouds, but also different effects that you can use inside of Blender. All right, so next up, we've got Procedural Crowds. So Procedural Crowds is a tool for quickly generating crowds and groups of people in Blender. Um, they've recently rolled out their um, version 1.2 update, which um, expanded the functionality of Procedural Crowds to give you the ability not only to generate crowds in like big groups like this, but they also added a on vertices type. So you can use this to add crowds on vertices and like curves, other things like that. So um, in addition to that, they've also got this setup where um, it's going to randomize kind of the colors of some different characters and other things like that. So um, procedural crowds has been updated with the new version as well. So GeoSign is a new tool designed for helping you quickly generate different signs in Blender. So you can use it to create your own custom text, your own custom signs with, um, with emissive materials, other things like that. You can also use it to generate signs um, that actually have images associated with them as well. So it's really easy to use. So if we jump into Blender, you just take some text, right? Whatever that is. So I can enter my text right here, this, click on the text tool and that's going to generate a curve object that you can use for this. But then you can just click on the option to use text and it's going to generate a sign using your text. And so this sign is going to use the text that you bring in here um, and adjust based on whatever you do to it. And so you can adjust things like the height of the bracket, the depth of the signs, and you can also adjust things like the strength of the neon, the color of the neon, other things like that. So just a really quick, easy way to add signs in Blender. All right, so next up, we've got Fluid Painter. So um, I'll be featuring this in the next couple of weeks, but this is basically a tool that makes it easy for you to quickly add different kinds of fluid in Blender. And basically you can use this in order to draw fluids on objects using curves. So um, it's pretty simple and easy to use. And so it comes with a ton of different presets that are in here. And I think you can, you can build your own fluid um, using some of the default presets. And so this basically adds um, a number of different fluids um, in a fluid library in Blender, but all you have to do to add them is you can just click on the fluid painter on the right hand side. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to pick something in here. So let's say we were to pick the honey right here. But what you do is you just select the object, you click on the add fluid right here and then you just draw a curve. And when you draw the curve, that's going to add the fluid to the object. And so if you look at this, notice how it's a little bit smaller, but you can actually scroll down and adjust things about the fluid in here. So you can adjust the thickness, other things like that, the way that it's subdivided, um, that sort of thing. So you can come in here and you can actually adjust this. You can add like drops if you want there to be drops, um, the size of the drops, other things like that in order to quickly customize those things. So adding those different fluids is really easy. You might have to do a little bit of adjustment of your curves in here, but since this is curved base, this is actually pretty easy, right? You can just kind of move that up. This is all live, so super easy to do. So if you're looking for something where you can add these different fluids, you might check out Fluid Painter. Okay, so next up, we've got the new version of Color Frame Renders Pro. This is actually one I haven't had a chance to try 
UI yet, um, but what it does is basically a tool that allows you to create colorful wireframe renderings. So basically it allows you to create renderings like these that let you adjust the line art um, and the wireframe as well as the colors in here. So this is one I need to get into a little bit more, but doing the kind of like architectural modeling that I do, that kind of thing, you know, most of everything that I do is pretty, uh, pretty hard surface modeling. So being able to create these renders that kind of like highlight things like this, I think is pretty cool. Um, so if you're looking to create these kind of stylized renderings, you might give this a try. All right, so next up is a tool that I did a detailed video on earlier this week, but the new version of the Baga IV Generator. So Baga IV Generator is a very complete tool for creating, generating, and adjusting Ivy in Blender. It's got a ton of different kinds of Ivy built in. Um, so all sorts of different types that have flowers and other things like that. Um, it just got released or updated with a new version, which basically gives you the ability to either do like fast generation so the fast generator, you just draw a line and it just builds ivy on top of whatever surface you're on top of. But then it also gives you an accurate generator, which so it lets you set a base point and then where the ivy is going to. And then it's also got a precision generator, which gives you the ability to draw each of the individual strands of ivy. So depending on what you're trying to do, this now gives you three different ways to generate the ivy. I can link to that one and the video I did on it in the notes down below. All right, so next up, we've got the newest version of Next Street, um, Next Street version three. This added a feature that I haven't really seen in other, um, this added a feature that I haven't really seen in other road generators, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and again, remember this is a, you know, on sale as a part of that Blender Market Summer Sale, but the way that this one works is you can draw in Blender or actually add a street in Blender, but then you can come in here and you can um, adjust that, right? So it's built on a curve. So if I was to come in here and extrude off of this curve, notice what it's gonna do is it's going to basically generate a new piece or part of road. So it's using this curve in order to do that. But what makes this one super cool to me is notice what this does is it actually generates intersections inside of your model like this. So you've got this street generator that can basically add all of this different stuff, right? It's got a bunch of different assets in it. So it's got like sidewalk assets, street profiles, other things like that, as well as giving you the ability to do like traffic simulations. But the big plus to this one, at least in my mind, is the ability to do these different intersections. And so if I move back in here, I can do things like adjusting the intersection offset, making these bigger or smaller. But this gives you the ability to really quickly generate streets and roads and other things like that in Blender. And then we can also come in here and add things like sidewalk profiles. And so what you can do is you can select portions of the street and then come in here and set things like different sidewalk profiles. So if I wanted to add like benches and plants and other things like that, I can use these different profiles in order to do that. And then those are going to be adjustable as well. So you can set like the spacing on the benches if you want to do that. Basically a great procedural road generation add-on. All right, and so this next one just came out two days ago. I haven't even had a chance to get a copy of it, but I've been kind of waiting for it based on um, based on the fact that I've used stuff from Asset Kit before. So if you remember, I made a video on their trash kit that I absolutely loved. It's just like collections of garbage that you can use. Um, you can use them with like GeoScatter in order to scatter garbage inside of your, uh, inside of your space. So if you wanted to create like a dirty, um, if, if you wanted to create like alleys with trash in them and other things like that, it was just a really cool tool for that. But they've just released this new crystal kit that I haven't even had a chance to try yet, but I've been seeing videos about crystal kit on their Twitter feed and I've wanted to give it a try. So this is probably another thing I'll be highlighting um, in the next few days, if not next week, but it's basically a tool for using geometry nodes in order to create and add crystals in here. So you can see how they're able to basically use all those different settings in order to generate proceed crystals. So very niche product, obviously, but seeing generators like this that can do this kind of thing is actually really cool. So I'm excited to get into this one a little bit more, but if you do need a crystal generator, this is the first one that I've seen for Blender. All right, so that's some of the top new and updated add-ons that I'm currently seeing out there. Leave a comment below. Let me know if there's anything I left off the list. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you 
you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.